When you play a match free game, then on the left side of your board, you will have the cost per move. So the amount of gems you have to pay for each valid move. That means invalid moves such as this one won't actually cost any gems, but the valid moves such as this one will cost gems. Then below it, you have the goal you need to compete to finish this game. In my case, I have to collect two gems and I have to fill in seven fields with grass. Usually this will be collecting two goals. So for example, these gems and hearts, but there are also special levels where you actually need to fill the whole level with grass to complete it. Below it you have some boosts. This one is the random power-up where you can pay some gems to spawn a random power-up on your game board that you can then explode or use to make progress faster. Below it is the tactic nuke which will use a nuke and basically nuke the whole board away. Most of the time this will immediately complete the game. On the right side of the melee you have three forward buttons. At the bottom of it is a gift button. This allows you to gift Krypton to the person who has created the level. So if you really like a level a lot or you think it was very creative, you can give some Krypton to this person. Above it is the like game button. This button means you will like the game, which gives it more likes on the leaderboard. So to make this example, we have liked this level here. And if we go back and then open the community leaderboard, we will see that this level we have started here has now a total of three likes. We can then also start playing the game again here. And of course, unlike it if we no longer like a level. When you play a match free game, in the top right, there's the quit matching button. Quit matching means you will reset all the progress you have made in this game and you will start over from the start whenever you play the next time. When you start the game you will see a quick banner at the start that shows the goals that you have to complete to finish the level and if you had started a community created level then the banner will also show the person who has created the level to so the player who has created it plus the random assigned name for this level. In the bottom corners of your map you will find the paths that you have selected to play the level. So in my case on the left I would have this Kame so in the game on the left there will be this Kame and we can tap them to get some sounds and animations but they're purely for visual purposes so you see which paths you're matching here. And then finally for hatching eggs game boards it will look almost the same however you cannot quit hatching eggs because your progress will always be saved and in the corners you will have an egg by default until you have collected enough icons to hatch this egg and once you have all these icons collected you will see the pet and then the next egg if you have more eggs. And the pet will stay there on the board until you have brought it to the bottom to get it and then you only have the egg left in the corner. Thank you.